video is on comparing sides and angles and we are on page 905 and we're on section 5.5 starting at number 34. Okay, it says to list the sides and angles in order. Well, it's really easy to list the sides. PQ is 7, PR is 14, I mean, excuse me, PR is 11, and QR is 14. All right, now, if you were only to know those, um, those numbers, if you weren't to have a figure with this, it would be real easy for you to do as well. I'm going to show you how to do that. But um, remember that the theorem says that angles across from the shorter sides are smaller angles than those across from longer sides. And so looking at PQ across from that side is angle R. Now another way to figure out which angle it is if you don't have um, an actual picture is if you know it's triangle PQR and they always tell you the name of it. The missing letter is the angle that is not part of the segment. So since PQ is missing R, we know it's angle R. And with PR, the Q is missing. So angle Q is next larger. And then QR, the missing letter is P, so angle P is the last angle. All right, now they're going to require you to do just a little bit more work. They want you to take your um, angle measurements and using the fact that there are 180 degrees in a triangle, you're to find the last angle, which is 59, which someone has graciously already written into this student book that I took this from. And so now it's very easy for you to list the angles in order. So we'll list the angles first. The smallest angle is angle L. The next smallest angle is angle J. And the next smallest angle, or the largest angle, I guess, is angle K. Now, in the same way that we could tell which angle was across from the sides, we can also tell which sides are across from the angles. Since we have triangle J, K, L, the shortest side is the one that does not include angle L. So that would be JK. And then the next smallest one would be LK because it is not listed in J. You're also looking at L. You look across from L. The shortest side is JK, then LK, and then across from angle K is side LJ. <laughs> Okay, continuing on with number 36. Okay, recognizing that a right angle is 90 degrees. We have 90 plus 72 is 162. And then we're going to subtract 180 minus 1, oops, 62 is going to give us 18. So our last angle, which they graciously have not filled in, is 18 degrees. And listing our angles in order, we've got from, from least to greatest, angle G, then angle F, then angle E, and listing our sides is EF, EG and FG. Okay, this video is on the hinge theorem, and I'm using the back of your book once again on page 905, looking at 5.6, numbers 43 and following. And the Hinge Theorem says that if you have two triangles with um, congruent sides, as you open up the angle, the included angle, that would be the angle between the two sides, 